Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2022 mid-month general readings. We're looking at the last two weeks of July and this reading is for the fire sign of Leo. Welcome everyone. Thanks for taking the time to be here. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much uh, for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, those of you reaching out for personal readings, all the feedback. Always greatly welcome and appreciated. Okay, Leo, this reading is for you for the last half of July 2022. That's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Leo. It's relevant if you're cross-watching for a Leo. It's a general reading, so of course it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. Watch all of your signs for any additional insight they can provide. And if something does resonate with you enough that you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, maybe take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, personal readings do make great gifts for people. Uh, feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can also get that contact info that email address by clicking on the description link uh, i can usually respond the same day with more information i do offer quite a wide variety of readings and i'm pretty timely about scheduling too so email me if you're interested i'd be delighted to hear from you okay leo let's see what the last half of July 2022 looks like for you. <clears throat> First we have death, major endings or transformations with the nine of wands, perhaps feeling a bit tired, discouraged, worn out, wondering you know how to get through something here comes yet something else but tens represent cycle endings in the tarot cycle fulfillment or coming full circle a cycle ending uh, but here in the nine of wands you may not it may not feel like the ending is close this basically is wondering uh how long is this thing going to drag out when is this thing going to end next we have the eight of wands lots of action movement forward it can be a card of travel. Uh, it's the the Eight of Wands, traditional travel card. It's the Eight of Fire. Fire is very action-oriented, so this is a lot of movement forward. That can be in the form of actual travel, conversations, planning. Things are moving forward very assertively, very powerfully with the Seven of Coins, which is a card of reflection, contemplation, taking stock, taking inventory, looking at what you have invested in something and asking yourself, um, has my efforts gotten me the results that I wanted? Uh, does the end justify the means? Should I make changes? Should I take what I can and go start something new somewhere else? You know, it's a card of kind of, again, taking inventory. It, it feels like you're you're trying to figure out if uh, trying to make a decision or trying to figure out if the decision you've made is the right one what that decision is it's about movement forward for some of you it might be travel let's keep going next we have the knight of cups knights always represent offers and opportunities for change the knight of cups is the knight of water and the element of water governs our emotional life so this is an, an offer or an opportunity for change that affects you emotionally and it may be a lover support driven uh, offer it can be anything from family friends a romance a date somebody telling you they love you i mean the knight of cups there's no hiding with the knight of cups the knight of cups comes charging in wearing their heart on their sleeve here i love you here's this thing or come live with me and be my love kind of energy or it could be just you know a love or support driven offer from friends or family as well with the wheel of fortune wow divine timing and orchestration um in the upright position i mean the wheel of fortune as with all major arcana cards represents god spirit angels and guides i mean you know this is like god's fingerprints on something divine timing and orchestration which we have no control over in the upright position it does imply good fortune coming in this is like a spirit orchestrated offer here working through someone else another person place or situation which is typically most of the time how spirit chooses to work from the bottom of the deck which probably leo also means that whatever this offer or offer to opportunity is is spirit supported from the bottom of the deck we have the five of wands the bottom of the deck card represents kind of the overall 
energy and focus or the underlying energy and focus, the, the main theme that runs through it. And the Five of Wands is a card of, of conflict, internal conflict, external conflict, maybe fighting with yourself or with somebody else or a combination of both over the same thing over and over and over again. Um, in an actual area or a situation it can represent you know, like if it was a toxic work environment or something, it can just represent fighting, infighting, rumors, gossip, but conflict. It's not heavy, serious conflict, although it can develop into that. The Five of Wands is kind of middle of the road stuff. Um, everybody wanting to be right, nobody wanting to kind of back away or back down or compromise. Let's clarify that overall energy of the Five of Wands. This keeps poking its head out, although not falling out completely. Another Knight of Cups, so I'm going to put that there. Conflict over this offer. Yeah, Two of Pentacles, choice judgment a significant choice a choice that might profoundly change your life path and the high priestess trusting your intuition it, it yeah again i'm getting kind of this do i do this or don't i do this some of you you may have already made a decision and you're second guessing yourself you're second guessing your intuition but in that conflictive mix is also the advice of needing to trust your intuition which is what the high spirit represents trust god spirit angels and guides any dreams that have repeating themes or coincidental sort of things that keep pointing to the same thing um, trusting your intuitions it's not exactly like trusting your emotions because our emotions can be unreliable and untrustworthy but it's deeper than that it's like your higher self or your gut instinct versus your actual just plain emotions like for example if you made the decision to end a toxic situation or relationship you might s doubt yourself afterwards because of the emotions you have of missing the thing the person place or situation but you also know your intuition tells you it's the smartest thing to do so that's what this is here it's about trusting your intuition and, and you're in conflict either about a decision you've made or one that you're thinking of making and then, of course, with death and the Nine of Wands, when is this going to end? Well, let's take a look at death. Clarify death. Strength and the devil. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's literally having the strength to break some kind of toxic or negative cycle, but which has an element of temptation or allurement in it because... That's what the devil card is. It's a card that shows up for obsessions and addictions because even though there's too much energy, unhealthy energy in one area of life or one person, place, or situation, and it's unhealthy, toxic, there's still something in it that tempts us because the devil entraps and enslaves through something tempting, right? And this is like literally having the strength to break the chains of some ongoing circular conflict and wondering you know do I have the strength to continue hmm. clarify the eight of wands you know the eight of wands is next to that knight of cups it might be um, an offer to travel Maybe an offer to travel to see someone, to be with someone. Maybe you've done that in the past before and it hasn't worked out. Maybe you made the decision not to continue this particular pattern. But herein comes another offer. However, this one looks kind of spirit supported. Perhaps it's changed. Clarify the Eight of Wands. The Queen of Wands, which is you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and the Lovers. Another decision and choice card. Um, because it's the lovers, the choice or decision, because it usually represents a choice or a relationship at a crossroads. Now, the decision might be about the relationship itself that needs to be made, or it could be a decision in another area of life that significantly or profoundly affects the relationship. could be a decision that the two of you, if you're partnered with someone, um, 
are making together about whether to move something forward or not or take a trip you know some kind of forward movement here for those of you for whom it doesn't resonate as a relationship reading it's a, just a significant decision whether to move forward with something or not and breaking any unhealthy toxic patterns chains um, yeah Clarify the Knight of Cups. What is this offer opportunity? You know, for relationship, the fact that there's been some kind of unhealthy pattern in the past, but if, if this offer is coming from the same person, it does look spirit supported. So for those of you for whom that resonates, there may be something different about this offer. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Or it could be just someone, some other person or situation <coughs> that's coming in to offer some kind of help. Huh, yeah, death, transformations, a transformative, a transformative offer. The Empress and the Two of Wands, a choice. Some kind of love support offer choice transformative it could be for some of you in relationship that you made a decision or set some pretty clear boundaries or ultimatums with someone because you didn't want things to continue in the way that they were because the way that they were had grown unhealthy for you and you just didn't want to do it anymore but the offer that's coming in now is different it's transformed maybe somebody has learned a lesson from that that's for a relationship because death and the empress is a final ending a trans an utter transformation of something and giving birth to new things which is the empress here conversely the empress as a person might represent a mother or mother mother figure or maternal figure it may just represent you and your beautiful leo empress like you know king queen of the beasts sort of thing but it's, it's a transformative offer. It is not what went before. And it's divinely timed and guided here with the Wheel of Fortune. Let me clarify that. Uh, some opportunity comes in which is completely transformative and full of potential abundance and new beginnings. Wow. It's interesting, too, because the Empress is a card that represents fertility and abundance and conception and giving birth and death of course is ends and transformation and rebirth is right on its heels clarify the wheel offers offer being made and being considered the tower and the sun oh my goodness this is definitely divine timing and orchestration God is working through this person place situation in a tremendous way a huge impactful way this is kind of like Saul on the road to Damascus or if this is somebody you've been connected with coming in to make a different offer or like Scrooge kind of you know that that uh, that, that Christmas Eve you know the three ghosts and all of that and then it completely transformed his life and he became a different person it's kind of that sort of energy here and regardless of what the specifics and details of your particular situation is this opportunity for change that's coming in is completely spirit guided and utterly profoundly life transforming I think you're having difficulty trusting your instincts your intuition on this and some of you may also be wondering if it's a transformed offer from the same person place situation that was previously unhealthy you may be like having doubts is this really real but it is wow it's incredible well let's <laughs> let's ask for some advice guidance and feedback for Leo Wow, Leo.
the emperor attached to the sign of Aries. It may be that an Aries is significant or an older male. We have the emperor and the empress here, so it could be a couple in terms of you and the romantic boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. It could be parents too, you know, that are kind of helping or making this offer as well. This is a general reading, so who it specifically is, but it's somebody significant. The Ace of Wands, new beginnings, brand new exciting beginnings, Ten of Cups and Temperance. If this is a, a, a marriage proposal, it's definitely spirit supported. Whatever it is, it brings balance, peace, and closes a, a wonderful cycle out in regards to home and family. So spirit is, is, I mean, there's a new beginning here, one that brings healing and balance. Uh, definitely spirit supported. Not sure about who the emperor is, because in a general reading, court cards can mean, you know, can represent different people. A father, a father figure, a husband, a boyfriend, you know, somebody in a position of seniority, age, status, authority, decision-making ability. Yeah, beautiful reading. Free will, free agency, of course, but I'd give this one a thumbs up in terms of accepting and taking this offer or opportunity here. <clears throat> okay, Leo, those are your messages for the last half of July. I hope you found them helpful and useful. Um, again, if any of this resonates enough that you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, feel free to email me directly, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. Um, also, as a gift reading, too, they do make great gifts for friends, family, loved ones. All right, Leo, that's it. I will see you in a couple of weeks for the August general readings. Stay safe, stay well, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.